Hi, welcome to my channel. If you're new here, my name is Nadia. So today we're actually going to reorganize my iPad with the new iOS 15 update. I just did a similar video about two weeks ago about my iPhone. So if you're interested in iOS 15 and just these things in general, I'm going to link the video in the description box below and also playlist about all the things that I did with my Apple devices. But now let's just get right into reorganizing my iPad home screen. I'm really excited for this because I've wanted to do this for ages. So basically I started with doing a work designated home screen. So basically with iOS 15 you can just change your home screen based on what you need it for and it just appears when you want it to. So I'm not sure if I did it on my iPad but I did it on my iPhone that I basically put the location of my university in there and every time I go there my phone automatically puts on the other home screen it just has the things on there that i really need so basically this is just the home screen that i created on my ipad i'm probably still going to change it a little bit but that's what we're here for today anyways i did end of the video i'm gonna have reorganized this Thing that I forgot to mention is that before it was only possible to have the widgets on the iPad on the left side but now they are not like restricted to that anymore you can put them wherever you want so I just tried something and I put them on top and I don't really need that many apps on this first page anyways so that's what I did for the first page and then the second page I kind of I kept it pretty simple as well. I just organized the things that I need for school. So yeah, basically this is a widget from Pinterest and these three as well. Then this widget here is from Readwise. It's just basically notes from books that you read. I want to like update this still because I have not read that many books yet. I want to read my books on my iPad and then just put the notes here so I can always see them. And this one is just a Google Chrome widget that when you open it you can just immediately write something in there. And basically down here are just like the most used apps for me and I just don't want the first page to look this cluttered so I'll just leave it like this but I still have some space to add more apps if I want to. And then the second page, this is the timetable app widget which shows me the classes that I have for today and then I just have a clock widget that I think is really handy to have when you actually are in school but I still have space to add on here as well so I think that's very good and basically the thing I'm gonna do is that I'm gonna see both pages at all times and when I'm at school I'm just gonna see this one so this one disappears but when I'm at home when I don't have to do things for school I also have access to this page but now I'm almost done the only thing I want to do is change the background I want to refresh so we're gonna do that I'm gonna go on Pinterest and find myself a background So basically right now I chose a few pictures from Pinterest, I downloaded them onto my iPad 
and I'm gonna try them out. I'm gonna see how they look. So please let me know in the comments down below which one you like the best so I maybe can choose one of yours. I would love some suggestions from you so let's just get started. I'll just go with this one for now, but let me know which one that you like the best because I really can't choose. I want to change it again. I don't know. <laughs> so yeah, I, I have this one now, but this is actually how I organized my phone for IS 15 and also for university so that everything works for me. Probably gonna change a bit just because of new apps that I download and productivity wise maybe I stop using some things so I just take them away from the home screen but for now this is the end product and I'm really happy with it. Just very indecisive about the wallpaper but you can let me know in the comments which one you would suggest I take. Now a feature that I think is very handy that arrived with iOS 15 is actually that you can copy text from images. So I'm gonna show you really quickly how you can do that. So I'm gonna show you really quickly how you can do that. So let's turn off work mode so that I can go to photos. Um, and then, okay, so you can just select it, click on it, and then copy, and let's go on GoodNight, paste, and then you have it. So you basically just can copy paste things off of pictures. So I think this feature is really handy when you like, maybe in class, and your professor doesn't give you PowerPoint slides, you can just photograph them and then still copy paste them on your notes. So I think that's really handy. It doesn't just work on iPad, it also works on the iPhone. But yeah, this is actually it for this video. I really hope you enjoyed. If you did, don't forget to give it a big thumbs up. And yeah, I really hope that I see you. I really hope that I see you in my next video. Bye! Thank you.